This is the story of an ice cube by Natasha Kosla. Be Emmy, she is an ice cube, and she went on, let's just say, quite an adventure. At first, she was water. Or a liquid. She was put into an ice cube tray, then put in the freezer. Now Emmy is an ice cube. An ice cube is also a solid. The process that she took from a liquid to solid is called solidification or freezing. A solid has a definite shape and a definite volume. The point when a liquid becomes a solid is called the freezing point. Here is a look at the molecules inside her body. As you can see, they're tightly packed. The molecules only get to vibrate. Round. Emmy really enjoyed her life as an ice cube. Until one day, the power went off and everything started to melt. Then all was left was water. Now means liquid. The process when a solid becomes liquid is called melting. And the point when a solid becomes liquid is called the melting point. Liquids have a non-definite shape, but a definite volume. This is a look at the molecules inside of Emmy's body right now. Or the molecules of a liquid. As you can see, the molecules aren't as packed as in a solid. The molecules get to slide around now. It started to get boiling hot. Literally, Emmy's molecules got more and more energy until finally they just had no boundaries. Now Emmy is a gas. The transformation from a liquid to gas is called evaporation. The transformation from a gas to a liquid is called condensation. A gas has a non-definite shape and a non-definite volume. The point when a liquid becomes a gas is called evaporation. In both these pictures, you can see that a gas has very spread out molecules. In fact, the molecules are practically free and have no boundaries. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Please don't let me die. Emmy kept on repeating. She wanted to move. She wanted to save everybody. She tried to move and coincidentally, she did move. She felt herself fly and she could move in her new form. Emmy had to save her freezer. She had nothing to lose, so she set on her journey and searched and searched and searched and searched around the house. She found this box and her instincts told her that this was it. She decided to go inside and see what was inside. Inside, she met a bunch of atoms that she became friends with, and they told her that this was the power box, the box that could control all the lights and power in the house. Adams helped Emmy start her freezer up again. The lights turned back on, and all the power came back on, too. From a gas to a liquid, and now... Back to a solid, Emmy had saved the day.